Do Rag Wisdom here, folks, and welcome to Earth Day Y2K 21.04.07. The music in the background is by Various. I know you've all heard the expression, take a long walk off a short cliff. I'm going to play around with that saying. I hope it's okay. I hope the Democratic Party learned a lesson that you don't take a short view off a high cliff. To do so is certain death. Sudden and screaming horrific. I hope that all liberals too understand that when it comes to politics and power, it is a blood sport, a cavalcade of threats, lies, insults, and disrespect for the people struggling in the real world. I just hope that the Democrats finally learned a lesson because Godzilla already came and went and left a toll of destruction and carnage in his wake. The Democratic Party and liberalism in general are now fighting for their lives with their backs up against the wall. Will we on the left bear our claws? We better because those on the right, the fascist Nazi fiends, and supporters of number 45 have. Remember Spartacus? The Republican Party and its rich supporters have inflicted a cripple and slow kill on our country. The rehabilitation and survival at full strength is possible if we educate ourselves to act. One of the first and most important things we can do is understand the nature of our enemy. They are monomaniacal as Captain Ahab was against Moby Dick, the great white whale. The tyranny teabagger party, formerly the GOP, has a combination of goals including keeping white males in charge, denying everyone else the right to vote, forcing religious extremist ideas onto all citizens whether they want them or not, denying women the right to control their own bodies, allowing corporations to do with our planet what they wish. When you are monomaniacal, your mind is focused fanatically on one thing. And these right-wing fiends understood that the best ways to achieve their goals is to control the federal judges who have the advantage of lifetime appointments, to control the voting process, to keep gerrymandering, for example, to undermine our constitutional democratic republic through the misuse of the filibuster, for example. If white males are to regain control, they must be prepared for blood sport. The tyranny teabagger party has understood this for years and therefore our country is crippled and close to death. They have always taken the long view off that high cliff. While some of us on the left were being nice to tyrannists, we were excoriating ourselves with the notion of purity. Which of us liberals are the most orthodox about our progressivism? I am proudly democratic socialist, ladies and gentlemen, but I am not orthodox about it. I am not politically correct. To some, how dare I call myself a democratic socialist? And while they are lambasting me, the tyrannists are busy at work because they have the long view undermining us all and laughing their malignant asses off. We must repair our constitutional democratic republic. We've recognized the kind of people we're fighting this cold civil war against. Now we must survey the damage they have wrought. The tyrannous teabaggers now control most of the state houses in our union. That mostly means that tyrannists, formerly the GOP, control all 
three branches of their state governments, executive, legislative, and judicial. The tyrannous teabaggers now have more of their picks for federal lifetime judges than ever before. All of our history. And now they also control our Supreme Court. I know that Biden is not an orthodox liberal, but neither am I according to some. I know that the Democratic Party has a tent so big, big, the biggest tent you can imagine, big. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, come yeah, I got the right I guess I'm wearing the right hat. A tent so big that it allows their enemies to join and undermine them. You all know this. If Mansion and Cinema decided to quit the Democratic Party, Pruneface McDumbbell would be in charge again. I do not believe that the Democratic Party should just pat itself on the back for having such a big, big tent. After all, having a big tent has been so, so helpful that the party with the smaller tent seems to have Ironically enough, more power. Even when they're in the minority. That's how they're abusing the filibuster. All they have to do is say, oh, we're, we were calling a 60 vote on this one. They don't have to put any blood on the floor. There's no Jimmy Stewart fainting. It's so absurd. And they have more power because of gerrymandering. This is all their plans in the long view. Gerrymandering, Citizens United, voter suppression, and monomania in their long view. And they do, unlike us on the left, they know this is a blood sport, a blood feud. These, ladies and gentlemen, are white racists. We do not want their party in power at all. It's not, a, it's not a constitutional party anymore. They want to destroy our freedom, our, our constitution. We never want to see them in power again. These racists are fighting to maintain control against the hordes of color and against those like me, mescanogenic Jews. Realize that the tyrannist teabagger party has a revisionist view of history. If it were up to them, the native peoples of this continent would never have existed, and people of color would be slaves to these creeps forever. We on the left have our work cut out for us. Because another reason the tyrannist party now controls the courts and is working to destroy our voting rights and making voting as Kafkaesquely difficult as possible is that they want their king and dictator to return Nazi number 45 hopefully to them by 2025. The tyrannous teabagger party allowed the Nazi 45 to avoid the people's justice at both impeachment trials. The tumor may run again, like I said, in Y2K24, or someone like him. The tyrannous party has taken the long view. If the Democrats haven't learned their lesson, get ready for the takeover of at least the Senate in 2022, the, uh, the, the, the House of Representatives in, in, in 2022, and then, eventually, see the return of the worst monster in our history to finish the job he started. Rome lasted 500 years before it fell. I'm going to keep repeating this because it's so important. Our USA has only been around half 
half of that time. 500 years to like 255, 260 years? We on the left better start taking the long view too or see our fragile constitutional democratic republic end. One, and again this is some repeats, the Supreme Court must be expanded. They cheated. They packed the courts. They're using double think. We must pack it too. Two. Gerrymandering and Citizens United must be expunged. Three. The filibuster must be reformed. Blood and teeth have to be on the floor. We have to get rid of minority rule. The way they're using the filibuster, the way this McDumbbell is using it, is to keep minority rule. Make them talk their heads off and then pass the bills we need anyways. Four, voting day must be a national holiday. And it has to be part of what we call the voting holiday season. Five, women's rights and their right to control their own bodies must be protected. Six, black lives matter. Seven, the earth, our mother earth must never be abused. Eight, LGBTQ rights must be protected. Nine, the Democratic Party must shrink its tent. Shrink its tent just a little, please. We need a truly progressive liberal party to stand against the fascist creeps we have. Against us, the traitorous creeps who get back in power, I guarantee our country will go down the drain. If just a few of us don't vote, they're going to be in charge. Ten. Being woke, to me, I never even heard the term. I hear it comes, I read in the Washington Post, the woke and, uh, and cancel come from the African American experience. But to me it means being aware and ready for the attack on our country by the tyrannists terrorists, teabaggers, and supporter of Nazi 45 within. And these attacks from them will keep coming and will get even worse. It's a blood sport. They have the long view too.